Welcome to Food Fights, and in this video, you and I are going to be trying these two brands of tortilla chips. On the left, weighing in at 13 ounces, is Tostillo's Cantina Traditional Tortilla Chips. And on the right, weighing in at 12 ounces, is On the Border Cafe Style Tortilla Chips. Oh boy, I do love tortilla chips, but there's one thing I love more than tortilla chips, and that's salsa with tortilla chips. So we're going to find out which one of these two brands of tortilla chips is going to go great with a bowl of salsa. But what's also important is which one of these two are the better value. So for the Tostillos, I paid $3.49 for this 13 ounce bag, and that works out to 26.8 cents an ounce. For the on the border tortilla chips, I also paid $3.49 for this 12 ounce bag, so that works out to 29.1 cents an ounce. So the better value is with the Tostillos brand, but only by a small margin. So what's inside of these anyway? So here's that nutritional information for those people that are interested in that. But I'm more concerned with the ingredients. And yes, yellow corn, vegetable oil, and some other oils and salt. About as basic as you can get. All right, let's have a look at the on the border chips. The nutritional stuff for those who are interested in that also. And looky here, we've got corn, vegetable oil, and about the same exactly except it's got sea salt, which I do like sea salt. I like the taste of sea salt better. With that being said, the most important thing to me is how these things taste. So that's just what we're here to find out. So let's start with the Tostillos and open these up and see how they look, see how they crunch, see how they taste, and see how they scoop up salsa. So with the Tostillos, we get, I'd say about half full on that bag right there, the Tostillos. And those are looking and, oh man, these are smelling really good. I have had the Tostillos chips before, but I've never Never had the on the border chips. So I'm looking forward to this. So let's rip these open and see what these look like. And those two look quite nice, a little bit different than the Tostillos. And with the on the border, we get also about half a bag, which is about normal. They need the rest of that to cushion the bag to keep from crushing these chips. So let's pull out one of each of these and see how they look. So here we go. On the left is the Tostillos, and on the right is on the border chips. And there's a definite difference between the two. As with the Tostillos, the most obvious thing is those dark specks that are in the chip that I hope is just some of the hull of the corn and not some cream crawlers that kind of got mixed up into the machine there. I don't think so. But here on the border chips, they are quite finely ground and we got some dark specks, but they're very, very small. So there is a difference and I can imagine there's going to be a huge difference in the texture of these. But I don't know if there's going to be a difference in the taste, but I'm looking forward to finding out there. So I'm going to start with a Tostillo's chip and really checking it for the texture. Very nice crunch. And I am noticing the flavor. Even though I wasn't shooting for that, we got a nice corn flavor, a nice corn chip flavor there. And I really like that. Kind of reminds me of Fritos corn chips, if you like those. So let's go off the on the border chip. Check for the texture and the taste on this. Also a nice crunch, not quite as firm as the Tostillos, not as crispy. It really does seem like maybe a little bit of moisture in that chip, which causes it to give a little bit of a a less crunchy texture to it. Maybe a little bit sweeter in the flavor. But the most important thing is how well these pick up some salsa. And I just happen to have some right here. And doesn't that look good? I just love salsa. Of course, you know, I just love anything with tomato in it, especially a tortilla chip. All right, let's try the Tostillo's tortilla chip in the salsa and see if it covers up the flavor of that corn chip or maybe it changes the texture in any way. I doubt it. And I'm looking forward to this. So here we go with the Tostillo's and the salsa. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. It did kind of weaken the crunch a little bit, and I'm not getting quite as much of that corn chip flavor. I'm going to go one more time with to Tostillos and some salsa and see how this is. Mmm. No, I really didn't need to do that. I just wanted some more salsa and chips. All right, let's go with the on-the-border chip with the salsa. And, of course, it picks up the salsa just fine, too. It's a nice, strong chip. Both of these are really nice, thick, strong chip. So here we go with the on-the-border chip with the salsa. Mmm. Wow. That crunch just hang in there. Actually, I think the on the border chip retained its crunch quite a bit better than when the Tostillos did with the salsa. That was quite interesting. I didn't taste that much chip at all with the salsa, but the crispiness really stayed there. And we got these two little bits here. I'm going to have to finish these up. So one more time with the on the border with my little teeny tiny cute chips here. Here we go. Mmm. 
That's really good. What can I say? Both of these were really good and I'm not really surprised. These are both really high quality products and I have had the Tostitos before, but I've never had the On the Border. But what I was really curious about was the taste of each of these and the texture of each of these. So obviously they both had the ability to, to bulldoze out a huge glob of salsa at will. So that wasn't a problem. Was there any problems? No, except maybe I want to continue eating chips, but I have to finish this video. But both of these had a really good crunch. Seemed like the Tostitos had a little bit firmer crunch and the On the Border had a lighter crunch to it. And I think a lot of that had to do with how coarse and how fine the corn flour was with both of these. But after trying both of these, I do have a favorite. And that favorite is because I like the taste better and I like the crunch better. And the winner in this video is the Tostitos.